Hey guys, this is Zero here with another vlog review, and today I am reviewing something that I'm sure is going to get tons of reviews. Um, last night, uh, that being uh, Saturday, August 16th, I was at the Canadian premiere of the Angry Video Game Nerd movie. And just as proof, here's my ticket signed by co-director Kevin Finn to Zero Master. I don't know how well you can see that, but yeah, I was at the uh, AVGN movie Canadian premiere in Toronto, uh, Ontario. Uh, we were at the Royal Theatre. Um, I'll try and have some pictures up here, the few I have. See, uh, Royal Theatre in Toronto. There we go. The Royal Theatre, Toronto. I got a little stamp card, though I probably won't end up using it as my camera decides to defocus. And uh, I got a ticket for a raffle for a signed copy of E.T. I didn't win, obviously, but um, somebody else win. You'll probably see pictures of it. So, yeah. Um, the ABGN movie. It was really good. Um, it was really cool. Um, I'll try to keep this as spoiler-free as I can because I know not many people are getting a chance to see this movie. It's only being shown in select theaters. And so far, Toronto has been the only... Uh, the only place in Canada to, for a showing, but they are working on that for other places in Canada, so. Um, the movie was freaking awesome. Um, not, not the, I'd say the best I've ever seen, but it's definitely, uh, it's definitely up there in terms of how uh, low-budget films go. Um, the production uh, quality was fantastic. Um, the special effects were really well done, and, um, uh, I went with uh, I went with Wizwar and uh, Ninja Raptor, um, and Wizwar is probably going to have some videos up on the RCG site about uh, Q and A and whatnot. Learn some things. One of the uh, creatures, yes, there's creatures in this movie, was developed by the son of the guy who made the Alien and Aliens, or in Alien, I guess, which was pretty freaking cool. Um, a lot of people who apparently worked on the film have worked on movies like, you know, Independence Day, um, Spider-Man 3, like a whole whack of different kind of movies. And uh, it's crazy to see all the stuff that went into this. Um, the story is what I sort of expected from this character, the AVGN. I mean, um, first thing I'll say here, though, is... This movie is for AVGN fans. If you don't like the AVGN or know nothing about it, you probably won't like this movie or get it. Um, now, does that mean you have to have seen every single episode? No. If you've seen, like, maybe, I'd say maybe... At least, like, maybe ten, maybe, episodes, you, you'll probably be okay. Um... A lot of the jokes, there's a lot of jokes referenced in this that go back to reviews he's done. Um, there, was, <laughs> there was one joke in particular that I was like, I knew that was going to happen sort of thing. Um, so if you know James uh, Rolfe and his humor, then you know what you're getting with this. It's crazy because it's like, uh, this movie mixes everything. It mixes the B-movie, the low-budget... Uh, the low budget uh, indie movie it mixes like uh, you know monster movies sci-fi the list goes on and on and on and the cameos there's so many cameos in this movie too many to count um, I do have a couple of gripes though but I mean they're minor one and this might be a spoiler for some people no super mecha death Christ I was a little upset there was a perfect opportunity for it and I can understand why they didn't do it, because they would have to, I guess, do a CG version of it to make it match the rest of the footage, but uh, I was a little upset that there was no Super Mecha Death Christ in this movie. Um, they had a perfect opportunity to use him, and they didn't, but, you know, it may have been getting tiresome at this point. It's just basically a robot tank Jesus going, FUCKERS! And that's pretty much it. So, I was a little upset that wasn't in there. Also, um, for cameos... Um, you know, there's Pat the NES Punk who had a spoken line, um, there's, uh, Black Nerd Comedy who was in the trailer, um, apparently Spoonie was in the movie and I didn't even catch it, um, which in my thought is, and it was just Spoonie in, as like a background character or something. One, why didn't he have a spoken line? I 
would have been interesting for him to have one. And two, why didn't he use Dr. Insano? It would have been perfect for the situation. Like, even as just a one-liner, like, as like a heh heh. Because there was a... Because Doug Walker was in the movie, too, but he was just like a heh heh sort of thing. And that's sort of... I kind of wanted Spoonie to have that, too, because it kind of felt like, you know... Spoonie's... People know who's, who know the AVGN know who Spoonie is. Um, so, I don't know. Anyways, um, lots of cameos. Lots of great, well-done action scenes. The story is corny to to the 11th degree. Um, and I mean, like, out of, out of 10. Um, it's... But... It also like it also works in the way it's structured, and a lot of the jokes are funny. Now, I was talking to uh, Wiz and uh, Ninja Raptor after the movie. Wiz admitted he didn't find all the jokes funny, and I'll admit I didn't find all the jokes funny. Um, the repeated gags, I understand why they were put in there. Obviously, you've got people who are fans. Keep in mind, like. Like, me and Wiz, like, we do reviews, and we watch tons of other people who do reviews. So, the ABGN is sort of, like, just this go-to thing. Like, it's a safe place to watch reviews. But, uh, this is real. like, if you're just an ABGN fan, you're not a fan of, like, any other sort of, like, uh, video game reviews or anything like that. Um, this has a ton of references to that. Um, personally, like, again... I probably watched the AVGN episodes over and over and over again, so I've heard these jokes a million times. But uh, even then, I forgot about certain episodes or certain jokes, and they came back. And I liked how it did re make reference to the AVGN series. Again, you do ha don't have to have seen like every single AVGN episode to get into this movie or understand a lot of the jokes. You could watch only, like I said, a handful of them, and you'd be fine. Um, though I'd probably recommend the earlier ones because... Uh, there's a lot more reference in the earlier stuff, like 2004 slash 2006 era, than there is in later stuff. But it does get mixed around a lot. Um, I don't want to spoil too much. All the characters were well done. Um, some of the characters were over the top. Others were not. Um, now, another thing I'm going to say here is, because I know um, there's a lot of criticism when the trailers were coming out, especially from Guru Larry and... Uh, Silent Rob are the two that I think of the most. The movie is good. And it looks good, but it's not on a huge budget. Um, I think, like, with crowdfunding, um, I think there was, like, almost a million dollars for this movie. I can't remember. I'm looking on uh, Wikipedia right now. It says 300 and 25,000, and even Kevin Finn last night, when he was answering questions, said, uh, you know, it was 200,000 or whatever. I'm pretty sure the crowdfunding was more than that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I could be completely wrong. Um, I thought it was close to a million, or in, at least, like, half a million or something like that. Anyways, still, not a ton of money for uh, for a movie crew. And, like, Kevin Finn was talking about, like, they constantly had problems uh, things wouldn't work, you know, and uh, they'd be delayed all the time. So they poured their heart, heart and soul into this movie, and you can definitely tell that they did because it, it's, it looks good, it sounds good, it's, it's just awesome. And you know what? It's not the best movie I've ever seen. I don't even think it, I would consider it the best movie of the year, um, even though I haven't seen too many movies this year. I didn't, I haven't seen Godzilla, which I should have. Um, I haven't seen a couple of the other movies. I haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy. I haven't seen TMNT. Dreading that one if I do see it. If I see it, that one I'm not paying money for. I'm going to give like a free ticket for that one. Anyways, um, I haven't seen too many movies this year. and um, But I, w would I call this the best movie of the year? Probably not. Um, for an indie movie, it's really good. It's like it's now in that in-between where between indie movie and high budget production. It's like that weird area because it's got way better production values than what you expect for a normal indie movie and that's really cool. Anyways, to end my rambling, um, the movie was really good, the characters were good, the special effects were fantastic, a good mix of uh, CG and uh, CG special effects, practical effects. It's like if you're somebody who loves movie effects, this is like a smorgasbord of movie effects. Um, great cameos, Pretty good story that fits with the theme, the theme and mood of the AVGN series. And overall, 
if it's coming uh, to a theater in your area and you like the AVGN, go see it. Like, it's worth it. I think it's going to be really good. And now, um, it's going to be, it's not coming out online until September. So there's still another month, and then DVD and Blu-ray releases are either near the end of the year or going to be for next year. This is definitely one that I'm going to be getting on DVD or Blu-ray because, honestly, I want to see how everything was made. I'm sort of a nerd for, um, for um, uh, um, behind the scenes or how it was made stuff. I think I've watched the Star Wars documentary on how it was made more than I've watched all three of the original trilogy Star Wars movies. I think I've watched. I've only seen the Lord of the Rings, the three Lord of the Rings, all the. Th extended editions all the way through once except for fellowship i've seen twice and i've seen the making ofs of them like two three times um i love making ofs i like seeing how it was made so um this is definitely one that i want to see the how it was made we've gotten little bits and pieces like pictures and little video clips i want to see more i want to see more of how it was made so um anyways that's my final thoughts on the avgn movie um Two thumbs way up past the screen. They're getting cut off. And definitely go see it if it comes in your area. Um, I may even, you know, I may even get it on video on demand and watch it with some friends uh, when it when that becomes a thing. I think it's on video on demand. That's what it says on Wikipedia anyways. Can't always trust Wikipedia. But anyways, guys, that was the AVGN movie. Definitely check it out if you haven't yet. And uh, thanks for watching my review. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching my newest vlog review. If you could go subscribe to my YouTube channel, Zero Master Reviews, like me on Facebook, Zero Master Fan Page, and follow me on Twitter, at Zero Master, that would really help me out. And if you got some spare time, check out the newest episode of the Under Oath Retrospective, only available on River City Gamers, because I get copyright strikes if it was on YouTube. Also, if you would like to check out my latest game review on Legacy of the Wizard, you can click on the annotation here on screen, and that will take you to it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.